We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that under certain conditions, disease-resistant corals can help protect other corals that are more vulnerable to disease. Colonies of colour stretch out beneath the sea. Sessile shelters of life whose calcite frames sway with the tides like ribbons in an autumn breeze. Bands of sickly white scratch their skin, exposing sun-bleached bones from base to tip, progressing pestilence that strips and maims and kills. As pigments drain, diversity persists, forming barriers of care that suffocate the spread, a healing presence of collective strength. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Scientific Reports, which has found that corals resistant to disease can help protect more vulnerable corals. Coral reefs have in the past been decimated by coral diseases, particularly those in the Caribbean. For example, the highly transmissible white band disease, or white syndrome, infects certain types of corals, killing the coral tissue to leave behind a bare white skeleton, thus giving the appearance of a white band moving up the coral as it spreads. Coral nurseries can help to restore some of this damage by providing fragments to replenish coral-deprived areas. In these nurseries, multiple genotypes, i.e. coral with different genetic makeup, are reared in order to support their adaptation to future environmental conditions. However, nursery-reared corals, like wild corals, are also susceptible to outbreaks of disease. In this new study, researchers monitored 650 coral fragments in a coral nursery over a period of five months, tracking an outbreak of white band disease. In evaluating these observations, the researchers found that when corals of the same genotype were grown together, they were more vulnerable to disease than those corals that were grown among a mixture of genotypes. The study also found that some vulnerable corals can be protected by resistant genotypes. In other words, certain corals were more resistant to disease just by being around other corals that were particularly resistant. The ability of resistant coral to help protect vulnerable individuals is like how vaccinations work among humans. Vaccinated individuals resist a disease, erecting a barrier that weakens its ability to move through them and onto the next susceptible person. These findings provide further evidence that genetic diversity can help reduce disease transmission among corals, whilst also showing that it's important to consider how corals are arranged in nurseries and reef restoration projects to better prevent the spread of disease. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Colonies of colour stretch out beneath the sea. Sessile shelters of life whose calcite frames sway with the tides like ribbons in an autumn breeze. Bands of sickly white scratch their skin, exposing sun-bleached bones from base to tip, progressing pestilence that strips and maims and kills. As pigments drain, diversity persists, forming barriers of care that suffocate the spread, a healing presence of collective strength. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading People Are a Living Structure Like a Coral Reef 
by Heather Crystal. Heather Crystal is an American poet and writer who was born in Wolfsboro, New Hampshire, and earned a BA from Tufts University and an MFA from the University of Massachusetts Amherst. She is the author of four collections of poetry, including The Difficult Farm, published in 2009, The Trees, The Trees, published in 2011, What is Amazing, published in 2012, and Heliopause, published in 2015. A former creative writing fellow in poetry at Emory University, Crystal has taught at Emory, the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and Sarah Lawrence. She is the web editor of Jubilat magazine and a frequent writer in residence at the Juniper Summer Writing Institute. People are a living structure like a coral reef, by Heather Crystal. People love to clean their ears and I love people very much. They are everywhere. Every single thing I love, I love for windows only. And if one window reflects another, then friends, for me, it's all over. And in the windows are trees and in the windows are people. What are they even doing with their hunger and in their new shirts? They are taking care of themselves and they are taking each other out for lunch. Oh, even the rain has to love them. People are just too attractive and the rain places itself on the window in order to be closer to the people, the ones who are eating, the ones who are busting out vigour. Oh people, you have to love people. They are so much like ourselves. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.